this we have done right <clears throat> oh you're not sharing your screens okay wait yeah, yeah no problem sir. skype Now can you see my screen? Uh, no, it's black for some reason. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Now I can see this. Okay, um, now discuss about the properties of alcohols. Lower members are colorless liquids and have distinctive smell. Right, what do they smell like? Uh, and higher members are solids and colorless. Low members are soluble in water and the solubility decreases with increase in the molecular weight. Yes, of course, because the non-polar part increases. In yes, temperature. yes. Right. Uh, what kind of smells do they have, sir? Is it sweet or... Um, have you ever really smelled uh, alcohol, like beverage? No, I, I have never no. smelled it. That's good. Uh, okay. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. um, okay, in your chemistry lab, ethanol is here. Mm. It went in Corona, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I understand. Okay, then alcoholic 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 okay then do one thing uh, you have a cold drink with you cold drink you 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 might have taken cold drink you might have drunk right uh, yeah pretty long time ago okay but cold drink uh, you might have uh, sipped the cold condition right in the cold condition you can't see this can't feel the smell but you can just feel the chilling taste Yes. Mm, yes. Let the cold drink come to the room temperature and then you smell it. Okay. It means, right. you, it means you open the bottle when it is at room temperature. Then you smell it. You will find some distinctive smell. Right? That you will find. That, that contains 8% uh, alcohol. Right. Yes. Alcohol have high boiling point. Then alkanes, alkylide, ethers due to the presence of the intermolecular hydrogen yeah. bonding. You understand yes, yes, that? Of course. Right. Yes. This is the interaction among these molecules. Due to this intermolecular interactions, they have Yes, yes. High boiling point. Such hydrogen bonding is absent in the alkyl halide, aldehyde, ketones, and we require more energy to break this hydrogen bonding. So they have more boiling point. Right, sir. Boiling point of alcohol increases with increase in the weights. Okay. Right. As the molecular weight increases,
ब्रांच चेन अल्कोहल है लो बॉइलिंग पॉइंट राइट ब्रेटर द वीक वेंडर वॉल फोर्स ऑफ ट्रैक्शन अल्कोहल्स आर न्यूट्रल टू लिटमस दे आर नॉट एसिडिक बट दे कैन एक्ट लाइक ए ब्रांचड एसिड एज वेल एज ब्रांचड लुइस एज वेल एज बेसिस देयरफॉर दे आर एक्टिव राइट in the chemical reaction they show lewis acid uh, bronsted acids and uh, lewis bases but with the litmus they are not they are neutral right so so the both the oh and the co bond can cleave right yeah they can But give react react more as an acid right because co bond will be stable see they can give the h positive bind as well as they can donate electron pair in some reactions it will be acted like an acid and some reaction it will be acted like a base i'll go into detail of all these reactions one by one right so i'm discussing the cleavage of the bond of the oh bond it means i'm talking about the acidic character right yes sir yeah of course reactor will be primary yeah because the uh, plus r effect uh, sorry plus i effect i mean mm-hmm. plus i effect will be least for primary so that will be the most stable with a negative charge hmm right yes yes <clears throat> and another is the <clears throat> co bond right so here the positive charge has to stabilize so hmm of course tertiary greater than secondary tertiary carbocation is more stable right yes yes first of all i'm talking about the reactions involving co bond right say this in place of the r we can put here right 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 got it but it won't react with metal hydroxides and mm. bicarbonates right? with aluminum it will be taking up uh, 3 right yeah understood yeah right and acidity is directly proportional to the or inversely proportional to the electron leaving group <laughs> yeah yeah of course more the leaving group more electron density will be there on the oxygen and it will be difficult yes. to lose the h positive ion right yes yes so this way primary But, uh, secondary and methyl alcohol is more acidic than uh, methyl acidic sorry methyl alcohol is more acidic than water yes There's methyl some, yeah yeah There's, that uh, happened yeah as a minus i effect yeah how does that work 
that is an exceptional case right methyl coal is more acidic is there minus side effect that is to be seen let me search about it hmm, very okay sure sure not clear about it okay so alcohol can act as a prostate acid as well as lewis acid lewis base because they can donate a proton and they can have a pair of electrons on the oxygen atom here right ethers don't have hydrogen bonds so they have low low boiling point as compared to it yes of course highly soluble in water and inflammable Mm. Right. So ethers act as Bronsted bases. Right? Yes. <laughs> Phenol are also acidic in nature because they can lose H positive ion and then become resin yes. stabilized. Yeah, yeah. Phenol will be more stable. Yeah, because of the resin stabilization. Yes. Understood. Yes. Alcohol. <clears throat> And phenol. Out of these two, which is more basic, more acidic. Right. Uh, you tell so, me. Of course, phenol will be more acidic because the phenoxide ion is resonance stabilized. Yes. And the alkoxide ion is not resonance. Yeah. Stabilized. Moreover, there is a plus side effect over there. The plus side effect, exactly. So alkoxide yes. ion. The delocalization yes, yes. negative charge makes phenoxide more stable and favor acidic nature of the phenol. Right. Yeah. Yes. Whereas in alkoxide, negative charge is localized in oxygen. Right? Right. In alkoxide ion, the negative charge is localized in oxygen, while the phenoxide ion is delocalized, rather than stabilized. Yes. Can you see this type of this type of resonance? You can understand. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Now we talk about the esterification reaction. Here, alcohol gave the H and acidic acid gave the OH. You know this. Yes. And sulfuric acid act like a dehydrating agent. Right. Reversible in nature. They are there's a irreversible reaction, right? Using acyl chloride. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. They so, favor that, right? Yes, because yes, this yes, 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 yes. Right. Got it. <clears throat> so see the mechanism now yeah yeah right yes so now an watch group will be uh, sorry uh, it will de dehydrate because hmm. two watch groups can't be on the same car now attack with the nucleophile Wait, wouldn't it cleave first? Because two OH groups can't be on the same carbon, right? Hmm. So now remove the H positive ion and remove water. Right. Then remove H positive ion and ester is formed. Right. <clears throat> Understood? Yeah. 
this. It can be traced with a tracer technique. Yeah, yes. if you put the oxygen here, right? If the oxygen is from the alcohol, yes. Yeah. I mean that the the second oxygen I mean, no. Right. Okay now, work up on this question. Right. Uh OH bond will be primary greater than secondary greater than tertiary. Option B. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's a reversible process. Be reverse. Hmm. Uh, carboxylic acids. Hmm. Right. Uh, they give the uh, metal alkoxides. So alkoxides. Hmm. Yeah, Lucas test we had in. Uh, yeah, in the previous chapter also we did. Right, you know this proper proper. Yes, yes, yes. SN one reaction. So mm. it will be fastest for mm. yeah. Understand this? Yes, yes, yes. Say this. We have done in the previous topic, previous chapter, the same thing. Right. Yes. You know this mechanism? Right. Yes. Got it now? Yes. Oh, sorry. You know this hydride shift? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Work up on this then. Right. It can be distinguished by uh, yeah, all of them, right? Yeah. Right. Tertiary is the most reactive. Dilute HCl plus uh, anhydrous ZnCl2. Concentrated HCl. Concentrated, right. Sorry, sorry. My bad. I, yeah, I didn't read it. Sorry. Right. My bad. It's concentrated. Now, with PX3, we are done in the previous chapter. Yes. Yes. With, the yes. with the PCl5, right? Yeah. PCl3, yeah. Yes. Okay, with SOCL2 we had done the yeah, best method, yes. Darjan method, yes. right? We done that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, PCL3 will give an alkyl chloride and a dibasic acid, which is yeah. phosphorus. Yes. Yeah, uh, Darjan method. Darjan method. Both A and B, basically. Both A and B. You know this thing, right? Because these things we had done in the previous chapter also. You have done this chapter in your school? Uh, yes, yes. We finished this. If you know the theory, we can directly come to MCQ. Oh, sure, sure. Hmm? Um, sure? Yeah, we can do that if you want. Sure. sure? I think you know yes. all these re basic reactions. Yeah, I, I know this. So okay, we then, we, then we'll go to the level one. I think it's of the alcohol.
alcohol sir right it's a uh... Yeah, CN H2N plus 1O. Uh, sorry, yeah, H2N plus 2O, option 1 is correct. Yes. Uh, your primary alcoholic group is option 1. Hmm. Secondary alcohol, 2 pentanol is a secondary alcohol. Yes. Yeah, uh, right. Two methyl, two propanol is a tertiary alcohol. Or tertiary butyl alcohol. Commonly. Fin Yes. Yeah, 2 methyl pentanol is a primary alcohol. Right. That is a second, uh, no, not a secondary alcohol, it's still a primary alcohol. So, yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's does not contain a tertiary alcoholic group. It has a primary, secondary. It doesn't have tertiary. Option three is. Option Wait, what? Uh, option three only, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, polyhydric alcohol is, uh, I guess, mannitol. Mannitol is a storage food material in uh, brown algae. So, mannitol. Yeah. Mannitol is the same thing as sorbitol. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. There are two primary and four secondary. So, option one is correct. Option one. Yes. Secondary butyl alcohol is uh, two butanol. Yeah. Isopropyl carvinol is isobutyl alcohol, I think. Isobutyl alcohol. Option three. Hmm. Yes. Uh, formula of grain alcohol is C2H5O. Option two. Right. Spirit this is the common name of C2H5O. Option two. Isomer of ethanol is uh, dimethyl ether. Option two. Dimethyl ether. Right. Is isomer of one butanol. Uh, right. Two methyl, one propanol. Then I sum of one butanol. Hmm. Option four is correct. Right. Or functional isomers, let's see one, two, three, four, one, two, no, okay. Two, three, no, it's not correct. One, two, three, one, two, no, it's not correct. Yeah, option four is correct. Methyl alcohol is manufactured from ethylene by reaction with. Yeah. Uh, the reaction with permanganate. Permanganate will give you an alcohol from any alkene. With what? With uh, permanganate, that will be converted to the carboxylic acid. No, oh, di are... diol will be formed. Diol will be formed. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Diol will be formed. Uh. Sorry, sorry. My bad. Yes, yes. You're right. You're right. Yes. It is H2O4. My bad. I didn't read right. Preparation of ethanol for, yeah, okay. Uh, we get uh, option three, sir. Yeah, right. Yes. 
call as the hydrolysis product of the yeah, C2H4. Mm-hmm. Uh, hydrolysis means that never took a which we had. Oh. Oh yeah, yes. <coughs> But uh, these are hydroxylating agents, right? Or also hydrolyzing. Hydrolysis. What time? Mm. Okay. Right. All right. Primary alcohols are obtained by the reaction of Grignard reagent with uh, an aldehyde. So the option uh, four is correct. Wait. One second. Actually, uh, primary. Oh yes, yes, yes. Only uh, formaldehyde. Yes. Primary alcohol. Yes, indeed. Uh, ethyl alcohol by the action of methyl magnesium halide followed by hydrolysis. Yeah. Uh, formaldehyde. Sir. Formaldehyde will give you. Yeah. Yes. Re- acetone. The addition product of hydrolyzed. Okay. We get a tertiary alcohol. Sir. Options. Yeah. Yes. Uh, ethanoic acid to ethanol. So we need a strong reducing agent, which is LiNH4. Good. The basic hydrolysis of ethyl acetate gives acetate ion and the ethoxide ion. Hmm. Ethyl alcohol is manufactured by the fermentation of a uh, But both are right because they make it from uh, those mashed potatoes and they also make it from sugar cane leftovers. So both are right. Technically, technically both is one and two. Hmm. Yeah, right. It is both. Okay. Uh, X is uh, KOH, aqueous KOH. Yeah. Uh, Right. That is, it will give you alcohol, C2H5H, dry sil, sorry, but uh, moist silver oxide. Yes. Right. Okay. Uh, cracking. Yes. Cracking. Uh, actually, no, no, no. Uh, I guess fermentation. Is it? Yeah. uh this is uh, the invertase hmm but it can also be maltase right not only notes maltase can also give uh, two glucose molecules mm-hmm. okay fructose gives oh okay so do they they don't write it separately when it's hmm. two glucose Okay. Right. Dehydration is fastest in the case of uh, right. It will be for two methyl propane twelve because it's a uh, tertiary alcohol. Hmm. Right. Uh, which of the following is not correct? Mm. Okay. That is okay. Chromic acid. Okay, fine. Yeah, uh, four is wrong. Four is wrong. Yes. Hmm. Because that's a tertiary alcohol. Doesn't get oxidized easily. Re- reaction of propanone with methyl magnesium iodide followed by hydrolysis. This will give us a tertiary butyl alcohol, which is two methyl propane twelve. Yes. Hmm. a uh, enzyme which converts glucose to ethyl alcohol is uh zymase zymase converts glucose to ethyl alcohol yeah right so fructose can also participate in this reaction or is it only glucose yes only glucose right so can fructose participate no no right okay fine our uh, diastase is not produced by yeast sir Diastase has to be added externally. Hmm. 
and you start responsible for some molasses okay inverters and enzymes option 1 hmm yeah gas liberated during fermentation is a uh, carbon dioxide option 4 option 4 Molasses. Well, the optimum pH maintained is four, right? For uh, is four point five actually, I think. But four, four is close. Option one, then. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, raw material for obtaining alcohol. Uh, all of them, sir. All of them can be used. Hmm. Right. Uh. Okay, so ethene. So you get an alcohol, ethyl, ethyl bromide, and ethyl alcohol. Okay, oh, it's ethyl alcohol. Z is ethyl alcohol. Yes. Right. Uh, ethanoic acid to ethanol is uh, LiAlH4 and dry ethers. It is stronger at these conditions. So, option four. Hmm. Right. With water. Yes. No, we what? Not with water, right? LiAlH4 will get dry instead of ethanol. Right. 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 Yeah. You're right. Alcoholic fermentation involves conversion of sugar into ethanol by the action of yeast. Okay, uh, fermentation involves the liberation of uh, CO2 gas. <sighs> yes. Uh, so option two is correct. Does it explain? Yeah, you're right. Option two. Yeah. Yeah, 4.4 percent of water is present in rectified spirits. Option one. Hmm. Right. Ethyl alcohol containing 9.5 methyl alcohol, 0.5 pyridine is called a, uh, I think, denatured spirit. Is it just called spirit? Hmm. De denatured spirit, right? Yeah. Water gas and hydrogen into methyl alcohol. Uh, rainy nickel, sir. Rainy nickel is used for this position. Option two. Option two, sir. Ah, uh, wait. Is it? Isn't it? Hmm. Okay. Don't they need the? They shouldn't it be something that absorbs hydrogen so that it reacts with carbon monoxide easily? Thought rainy nickel would make sense. Yes. What do you say? I thought rainy nickel would absorb the hydrogen and make it readily available, right? No. This reaction. Rainy nickel will help only when alkene react with the hydrogen. Okay, fine, fine. Right, alcohol prepared from water gas is methanol, wood spirit. Right, alcohol prepared from rectified spirit is by uh, distillation with calcium oxide and calcium, right? Yes. Washer wort possesses uh, about six to ten percent ethyl alcohol. Yes, uh, can be distinguished using. Uh, you show the last options. Okay. Uh, yeah, it can be distinguished using 
Idoform hmm. test have you studied? Yes, yes, but uh, Na2CO3 is a base. Does there have to be OHI on this, right? So, does Na2CO3 act as a base here? See, it will give an uh, Idoform. CHI3 Na2CO3 Na2 CO3 act as a base here. Hmm. Because it's a salt, right? So, because it's iodine and the presence of a base, right? Yeah, NaOH, but the same uh, NaOH we are getting from here, no? it will decompose to give NaOH plus, uh, plus okay, H2CO3. Yeah, okay, base yeah, would be there. Fine. Yes, yes, yes. A carbonic acid is a weak acid. Hmm. Okay, yeah, yes. You're right, you're right. Okay, fine. Yes. Iodoform test. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. Got it, sir. Right. Uh, because azeotrope is formed, sir. Azeotropic mixture. Option 2, sir. Okay. Absolute alcohol cannot be obtained by simple fractional distillation because uh, it's an azeotropic mixture with water, sir. Option 4 is correct. Major product to dehydration of new container alcohol. Okay. Yeah, we'll get uh, right. We get yeah, two methyl but two ene. Two methyl but two ene is Yes. This one? Yeah, I said two methyl but two ene. Good. Uh okay. Yeah. Then it is spread. Contains rectified spirit. All absolute alcohol is hundred uh, percent. Rectified spirit is hundred percent. Uh, I guess option one and three are one, two, and three. Sir, option three is correct. Yeah. Highest boiling point of, uh, yeah, in, intermolecular hydrogen bonds. Shinti. Right. Uh, it will be for, uh, yeah, of course, ethyl alcohol because of intermolecular hydrogen bonds. One mm. uh, soluble in water, uh, methyl alcohol is soluble in water. Yeah, ethanol and methanol are miscible because of uh, hydrogen bonding. Yeah. Statement is not correct. The ethyl alcohol is heavier. Yeah, one is incorrect. Hmm. Uh, dehydration of alcohols we can use. Anhydrous, okay. Both one and two can be used, sir. Yeah. yeah. Uh, con conversion of ethanol to ethylene. Right. Uh, we can use a uh, concentrated H2SO4 at 170 degrees Celsius. Option four. Yeah. yeah. Reaction between alcohol and carboxylic acid leads to the formation of 
Yeah, Esther's option. Ethanol reacts with acetic acid in the presence of concentrated H2SO4. Yeah, uh, we get ethyl acetate, which is option two. Sorry, option two, one. Option one. I mean. uh, yeah. Yes. Right. Uh, X can be uh, concentrated as just a phase. This is known as esterification. Uh, organic compound reacts with carboxylic acid in the presence of dehydration. Dehydrating agent to form an ester. This compound may, yeah, uh, it will react with an alcohol. Sir. Yeah, concentrated h 2 for access. Right, it acts as a catalyst and then dehydrating. Both one end. Right. Got okay. uh, yeah. uh, Methyl magnesium bromide reacts with isopropyl alcohol. We get uh, oh, isopropyl alcohol. Hmm. Okay, so we will get isopoxide ion. And then okay, that will clear. We'll get methane, sir. Option 3, sir. Yeah. Yes. Sir, alcohol and phenol can be distinguished by the following reasons, except... Right. Uh, sodium, sir. They both react with sodium. One option, one. Mm -hmm. uh, neutral FECL forms a purple complex. I you know, just can uh, accept, right? So, sodium only should be option one. You go back, sir. It's option one, I think. No, phenol with this FECL3 gives a purple so except, color. Except, except. Okay, except. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because it, it doesn't undergo iodine. Then, then sodium is a better answer. Yeah. And bromine is decolorized, right? Mm. Because it forms a. Yeah. The acidic strength of acetylene, benzene, ethane, ethanol, right? Uh, methanol is. More acidic than ethane. Acetylene will be. Hmm. Right. So benzene will be least acidic. Uh, so four, one, two, three. Yeah, option one is correct, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Produce the same product. Uh, it will be uh, concentrated H2O4 and Al203 at 350 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm.
right uh yeah it comes within right right uh got it uh yeah watch bond fusion and alcohol cannot take place or hmm o h bond okay a pcl5 yes pcl5 will cleave the co bond yes the following reagents can not cause okay uh, sodium sodium cannot sodium will displace the hcl right uh x is an oxy acid of phosphorus yeah it will be uh, h3po3 sir option two. red hot copper at 300 degrees celsius the product formed is yeah acetaldehyde let us start option 1 yes okay. uh water gas in the presence of that yeah we get methanol sir option 3 right. uh ketone containing the same okay uh yeah right it will be a second degree alcohol sir option 3 yes isopropyl alcohol on oxidation forms acetone sir hmm. option 2 yeah and tertiary butyl alcohol is passed over reduced copper the reaction taking place is a uh, dehydration sir hmm yeah ethyl alcohol when passed over copper is dehydrogenated to give acetaldehyde sir hmm yeah alcohols can be oxidized by carboxylic acids oxidized to carboxylic acid uh uh i guess all of them would it be all of them yeah yeah oxidation of oxidation product of primary alcohol is uh, aldehyde mm -hmm. uh, this is an example of oxidation good so i call yeah it will give us uh, acetic acids option 3 Ethanoic acid to ethanol is uh, LiLH4. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Option one. Yeah. Ethyl alcohol, n-propyl alcohol by using uh, yeah iodoform test. Sir. Option two. Uh, right. Uh, this is uh, yeah this is iodoform test. Okay. Uh, X will be uh, H3. P double bond o oh, okay yeah option 2 is correct sorry uh, i mean uh, yeah sorry sorry one one because one, one card one, you know, yeah. yes 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 correct correct sorry my bad yes uh major product here will be according to mark panic of you will get option uh, yes option 3 seems to be correct here hmm the primary secondary tertiary alcohols can be yeah, all of them all of them can be substituted yes right primary test gives yeah yes right 
because reagent is concentrated uh, hydrochloric acid with anhydrazine so it's an option for right yeah got it for an alcohol to react most readily with lucas reagent uh yeah the tertiary alcohol so that will be option 3 sir yeah uh most reacted towards tl and the vanadyl zinc chloride uh tertiary sir tertiary is the most reactive primary secondary tertiary alcohols then cannot be differentiated by uh yeah right they cannot be differentiated by a uh, pcl3 i think yeah ethyl alcohol from methyl alcohol is iodoform test iodoform test to distinguish ethyl alcohol from methyl alcohol Hmm. Lucas reagent is a uh, dry ZnCl2 with concentrated HCl. So option primary, secondary, tertiary alcohols are distinguished by each of the following methods. All of them. <laughs> Good. Very fast. We are talking about dehydr. Atletic dehydration will be yeah. It will be option uh, one. Sir. Option one is correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Tertiary alcohol is found in tertiary alcohol is found. Yes, there also there will be a tertiary alcohol. There, no, there won't be a tertiary alcohol there. Ah, uh, it one two three. Ah, uh, hmm. I, I think that. I think compound C is wrong, sir, because carbon is only forming three bonds. Uh, one second, compound C, sir, it's only forming three bonds. Sir. The carbon. I think there has to be another CH two. No, okay, CH2. yeah, option wrong is there. Yeah, carbon is only forming three yeah, bonds. Yeah, it should be here, like this. Yeah, okay. If that is two, then yes, that is correct. Methanol, ethanol can be distinguished by the action of uh, iodoform, and uh, yeah, I guess hmm. PCL five they cannot be distinguished. Or dehydration and yeah, methanol yeah. cannot be dehydrated, no? Yeah, methyl. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Of course. The antifreeze is uh, ethyl alcohol. Yeah, natalite is uh, in the hypnotic drug, right? Motor fuel. I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. What is okay? Natalite is a mixture of. Okay. We had done how many questions? I think hundred questions. We had done. Hundred yes. exactly hundred. Right. Right. That was level one. So you went very fast. That's very good. Tomorrow at the same time will be okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Yes. So level two and level three of the alcohol we will finish, and previous year also. Fine. fine right. Then we we'll go to the ethers and then phenols. Right. All these levels we have to cover. Right. Step by step. Oh, those are all for okay. okay. This so is only alcohol. Alcohol also. today we had done only alcohol level one only. Oh. Yeah. Fine. Right. Uh, right, we, right. we will we can skip level two, but level three and previous year question will certainly do. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Right. No. Problem. Okay, then see you tomorrow then. Right. Fine. Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. Sir.